Welcome to Natalie's Toy Box. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for clicking this video. And after you've watched this video, go back and check out some of my other videos. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you think your friends and family would like to see my videos, share it on your social media. And if you like my videos and would like to be updated of my new videos when they're posted, hit the subscribe button and then the little bell beside it. So today in the toy box we have, uh, this is a Finding Dory Activity Art Can. I actually saw this at Walmart. It was the only one on the shelf. Thought I had to get it. Let me show you. Here's, there you go. It's got so much stuff in it, you guys. And it's got all the characters around it from Finding Dory. So there's Dory. And Bailey. And... Hank and Nemo, and it's it's in like I said it's in a can. It's like it looks like a paint can. It's really cute. I'm gonna try not to say really cute a lot this time, you guys. Um. So anyway, so let me open it up and let's see what's inside. Okay, I'm back and we got it open. So I'm gonna push this off to the side, this side, and I'll just start pulling stuff out, and we'll just look at it together. Okay, so here we have looks like a bag of foam stickers. So that's cute. We'll open, we'll play with those in a little bit. Um, looks like we have. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe a water tray or paint tray or something. And that was all on the first layer. So we get a little deeper. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can pull all this out in one hand. Yeah, there that worked. Look at the crayons. Look at all the crayons you get, you guys. And again, I apologize. I'm working one-handed. But it looks like we have... Um, it says it comes with stickers and stencils. But look at all the crayons. Crayons! Oh my gosh! And that is all there is in the in the uh, can too. So it says we get stickers, crayons, stencils. We get a paint. We get paint brushes. We get uh, paint. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna pull it all out. Let you guys look at it one more time, and we'll go through it together. And then we'll play with it. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So we have 10 crayons back here. I love what they put the crayons in. It looks almost like a birthday cake with candles. That's so cool. These are all different foam stickers, like we said, of the fish and characters from Finding Dory. Then we have this is a water tray to put water in. We have two paint brushes, we have a stencil sheet. There we go. And then over here, we have all these activity sheets. We have, um, let's see, we have two of these. These are paper activities, like for the crayons. We have two sticker sheets, and then these textured sheets are watercolor sheets. So what it is is they've already got the paint on them. And all you do is get your paintbrush wet and color over it with the wet paint. And it colors and does really cool. I've actually had some coloring books like that. So, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I'll show you. Here's our piece of paper that we got. You guys can see that. That, had, that shows us everything we're supposed to get. There you go. I think you guys can see that. Alright, so I'm going to set up my camera a little bit different than normal. And I'm going to play and have some fun. So, I'll see you at the end. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today, and instead of playing music and speeding this up, I thought I would do a little bit of a voiceover. So, um, what I did is I pulled everything out and kind of organized it a little bit better. And so, here I've got uh, the little blue tray, it's got some water in it, and I picked out one of the paint pictures. And so, 
Um, what I am doing right now, you guys, is you dip your paintbrush in the water and you paint on the paper where you want. There, now you guys can see that a little bit better. I painted Hank. And you just kind of do this all over the page. And, you know, I really like these because they're so, you know, I wouldn't say they're mess free because I think at one point I pick up my paper and you'll see underneath it there's lots of paint that's dripped off on my paper towel. So you definitely, it's not completely mess free, but it's definitely better than pulling out all kinds of paints and all kinds of stuff for you or the kids or, you know, whatever you like to do for art. And, but these are just really easy because all you need is water. And in this particular kit, they've provided you everything, uh, you know, except for the water. So hopefully you've got water and you can totally paint. And the other thing I'd have to say negatively is the paintbrush. But there are, for little kids, you know, paintbrushes. They don't hold a lot of water. So you will see I repeatedly have to dip back into the water. Um, another thing I'd say negatively is I would probably just use a paper cup to hold the water instead of the little blue tray. But... They provided it, so I thought I would use it for you guys. So, um, yep, so I am just painting along, and you just, you just go to town on it. I actually had two coloring books that are like this, and the thing about the coloring books is the page is in the book, and I'm, I'm a firm believer in you do not tear the page out of the book. You color it in the book. And with that, you have to put a paper towel behind it and on the side of it. And it's a little bit more tedious, but with this, you get your own individual page. So I like that. Um, I've had a Snow White coloring book and a Winnie the Pooh coloring book that I still have to this day, the Winnie the Pooh. And I've still not colored it all. And the Winnie the Pooh coloring book came with its own paintbrush. But anyway, so um, as you can see, this takes me a little bit of time, but it's only because I have to keep going back and repeatedly dip my paintbrush into the um, the water. So I'm trying to speed it up so it's not taking so long. Um, you kind of see. Um, the other thing I'd have to say is I wish they'd done some yellow on Dory because Dory kind of blends in with the water or, you know, the ocean. In this particular one, I guess I could have done the other one, but I thought I'd do this one. And that's another thing: if you paint where put water where the eyes are, you don't, you don't, you, you didn't paint it. So there it is, and we are done. And I think you could see there for just a second there you saw the paper towel, and it was wet. So next, I think I pull out a piece of paper. This is just a piece of printer paper. I'll slow down so I, the video will catch up. <laughs> okay, and then yeah, I've got a piece of printer paper. I'll just fold it in half, and I've got the stencil down. And you could really take the stencil and like draw the shapes with you know, like a black marker or a black crown outline them and then pull it up and then color them how you want. I'm just coloring them in with the stencil so you guys can see and I'm really just randomly picking the crowns I wasn't really just kind of blindly picking them I wasn't really paying attention uh, just to kind of show you how it works I like stencils because um, well they give you a shaped color and if you go outside the lines when you're stenciling it doesn't matter you're on the plastic or the cardboard this stencil was actually, I believe, made out of a thick cardboard or thick paper. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a plastic one or anything. So I definitely wouldn't use this for paint, but for a crayon or pencil or even a marker really worked great. And I think if you'll watch, I don't think it's this fish. I think it's another one I could actually go on the cardboard. And that's what I like about stencils is that you could do that. Um... I wish, you know, the only thing I'd have to say negatively about the stencils is I wish that they were more identifiable. I don't know who they are. I can't tell. If you guys can tell, I mean, by all means, let me know in the comments. But I have no idea who these who the fish are. I mean, obviously, they're from Finding Dory. But, you know, I wish there's a I guess it'd be harder for them to punch out a little bit more dimensions in the stencil than just what it is. 
I mean, it's just for little kids, I mean, after all, but I do wish there was a little bit more definition. You know, like Dory has stripes, Nemo has stripes, um, you know, I just wish there was a little bit more definition in them. So that's, another, that's something I have to say negatively about the stencils, but overall, I like them. The crayons, I really like. They're jumbo crayons, and so they're really, um, they're really handsy. That's not a good word, but they're handsy, meaning... Like little bit for me, little bitty tiny crayons. I grip my when I write or draw or color color. I grip the object so tight with little bitty crayons. You know the heat from your hand heats up the crayons and they snap really easily, even with the paper on you guys. And so these, I mean, I was just doing a little bit of coloring just for you guys to show how the stencil works. Um, I really, they I really like the jumbo crayons and the fact that you got ten jumbo crayons. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. Um, that was incredible, and the range of colors you got, you got, I mean, I paid five dollars for this can, you guys. Everything in it, the stickers, the paint, brush, the, the crayons alone, you guys, are more than five dollars. For jumbo crayons, for a pack of ten, that's more than five dollars, at least at my Walmart it is. Maybe not where you guys are, and if it's not, you're lucky. <laughs> so... Let's see where we are now. Um, so, what I did is I actually put my camera up on the wall, looking down at me. So that's why you kind of see everything. Um, so I think when I'm done here, which I'm done now, you can see all the outlines of the fish. Um, and that's really all I was going for, so you could see what it does. Okay, so then the last thing I do is you have these little color me sheets um, that say, I think, it, what do they say? They say, um, put friends, Dory's friends on the sheet or something. And there's one that's blank and there's one that I've got there that's got Dory on it. And I apologize, it is upside down. And so what I did is I just took the stickers, the foam stickers. Some of them are blank like that one. And some of them have faces. Some of them are just like really pretty colored with glitter and lines, and I just thought I would you know, just kind of put some of those on the paper to decorate. And then, um, in a minute, I'll sh I took if you remember from Easter, I did Finding Dory Easter egg. I took one of the stickers off of the sticker sheet that you got in that and put on here too. So, I mean, you could you could co I didn't color this, but you totally color it and then put stickers on. It's really cute. Um, something I didn't show you guys was was the um, uh, you got these great big sticker sheets, and one of them says it has Dory and Nemo. It says, "What do we do? We swim." And the other one had Dory and uh, I think it had Dory, Hank, and Bailey. I think it's Bailey. I get them mixed up, but anyway. So um, that's. Pretty much it. I'm just sticking stickers down. And there you go. I think I turned it around. There you go. So I see, see, I've got Hank sticker on there from the Finding Dory set. And so this is all my art I did for you guys from this art kit. I thought this was a really cute, last time I'm going to say, set for the price was right. You get the can. You can, I was able to put everything back down in the can. You could totally carry this with you everywhere. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to give me a thumbs up, share on social media, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.